not understanding how the market works, uh, how you should look at the market, and maybe using these indicators. Now, what I want to do in this video is to show you an alternative. And what I've done actually is put it together in such a way that it is structured and that everybody can use this. Yeah. I haven't invented this. It is actually a part of this comes out of a, a course which is given to professional traders who go to Frankfurt. Other pieces I have taken out from things that have worked for me. Now you will see there's part for myself, which is mainly to do with the trading with movement candles and so on. But 80% of the stuff here, it's common knowledge or it should be common knowledge. Right? The only problem that there is today is that there's so much information out there today that people just don't know where to begin and to take as important or not important. So I took the liberty <laughs> of sharing uh, with you what I think is important and works. Okay, now let's start with the basics. We look at the price movements in a structured way. So. The first thing I want to see is, am I in a trend or am I in a sideways market? And I don't want to see this at the end. I need to see this as soon as possible. I want to recognize the market phases or cycles. This is something, this is basic stuff. You should know what market cycles are and how to look at them. What are the key price levels? In Volume levels, also very important. What is fair value? And, and what happens in these areas? And why should we stay out of them? What are control prices? What are rejection prices? This is all information which is right on the chart. No indicators. This we have to know first before we move to the other Things. And the only thing I want to do when I, when I look at these price movements uh, and volume um, in, a, in a structured way is to decide, should I be trading now and in which direction? And again, when the answer is no, having the discipline not to trade. Okay, so this just, you know, uh, first step before we even begin to trade. Okay, so many people you know, do both things together, I would not do this. And here you see an example. We'll go again. This is something that I would print off, <laughs> stick it on your desk somewhere and, and, and learn this by heart. So the basic, yeah, the trend channel, control excess prices, where are the fair value uh, areas, uh, looking for accumulation distributions, trends or ranges, uh, remember. The price levels, support resistance, uh, previous day high low, uh, initial balance, the PIVO levels, the round numbers and the volume profile, which show you where am I, yeah, and then if, if you like doing it uh, with, with the professional analysis, say, okay, am I in a trend? Is this young? Is this trend young or old? Uh, the move in which we are now, is this a progression or a regression? And how far uh, has this move uh, gone? Evolution, uh, is it over the top yet or is it still under? You see, this is the... And at the end, you get an answer. Say, well, it looks great or no. It's very bad to trade now. Now, I know this is a lot of info, but believe me or not, and this is something that your homework that you will have to do, you will see that certain elements will not be present for every analysis. But that is something that automatically you should look for. And sometimes it's not there, and then it's, it's not, not important, but it's something that you, you should know that has interest. And this is really a learning by doing. So uh, do 40, 50 of these. Um, we'll show in, in one of the next videos, I will, I will show a few examples in different platforms, how we do this. And uh, 
we we put the list on one side and then we go to work on the on the screens and you see how this is done and this will help you tremendously to only trade when there is an edge and to stay out when there is not okay so this was the checklist uh, in the next uh, video of course we'll do loads of exercises and uh, i'll show you how it's done see you then bye bye